Details are now emerging about the hoarding that collapsed in Mumbai on Monday during the dust storm, killing at least 16 people. Visuals of that hoarding were doing the rounds of it swaying in the wind before crashing down. We now know that that hoarding was nine times the permitted size in the city of Mumbai. It has killed 16 people as of now and injured 75 others as it fell on a petrol pump and several other people. This is a story of corruption. The hoarding was erected on uh, in April 2022, so it has been around for a while. It was 14,400 square feet, nine times the permitted maximum size, and it weighed two and a half lakh kgs. It was so big that it apparently had mention in the Limca Book of Records, but nobody in the BMC, nobody in the administration noticed that there was a hoarding that had been put up in the city that was nearly 10x what it should have been. The ad agency that owns that billboard is called Ego Media Private Limited. Quite aptly, it has named itself. It did not apparently have the requisite permits it needed from the municipal corporation, the BMC, according to the BMC that has now called it illegal. Now, apparently complete surprise to the BMC that such a hoarding has been up for two years and they did absolutely nothing about it. The ad agency has built four hoardings in that neighborhood, including the one that collapsed, each about 100 to 150 meters from each other on land that has been licensed from the Police Housing Welfare Corporation of the Maharashtra government. So somebody gave that land in government. And again, no one in government seems to know what that land was used for. The agency is understood to have received permission from the Assistant Commissioner of Police Railways. The railways since then has said, we've had nothing to do with this. It's not standing on railway land. Now, in response to the incident, the BMC has issued a notice demanding that the other three holdings also be taken down. Indian Express has covered a story now saying that the agency, the ad agency had received three notices over the last one year from the BMC. So there were a series of problems with this one holding. The first one was in March last year over a license fee that it had not paid. Since then, um, the agency owes license fees amounting to about six crore rupees to the BMC. The second one in May this year for damage caused to trees, the notice was about a complaint that alleged the agency had cut down trees by poisoning them to remove any obstruction to the hoarding. A senior BMC official, however, uh, flagged that no action was taken by the BMC on the billboard in the 14 months between the first notice and the second notice. The third notice has gone out on the day that it collapsed for unauthorized advertisement panels. So imagine this scenario where notices are going out to something that is obviously visibly illegal and nothing is being done. No action is being done. Has money changed hands? Did somebody pay off someone else within the BMC? Who owns this ad agency? Now, there's one Bhavish Bhire who owns the ad agency called Ego Media Private Limited that owns the hoarding that has collapsed. According to an affidavit filed by him, he was unsuccessful in contesting the legislative assembly polls. So he contested to be an MLA from Mulund, but he lost, during which he declared he had 23 criminal cases against him, including one of rape under the false pretext of marriage. The Mumbai police have said that he's currently on the run and is untraceable. The BMC uh, also has pointed out that there are 179 similar illegal billboards, and this is according to the Hindustan Times, still standing at different points in the city. Um, the Ghatkopar hoarding that killed 16 people, what we understand, has been standing for two years. The question is that uh, will the railways police take responsibility for the hoardings that is on their land. Remember, Mumbai has local trains, which means there's a lot of land in the city of Mumbai that belongs to the railways. Now, there's some gray area where the BMC is saying this is on railway land. The railways is saying this is not our responsibility. Who will take responsibility for the people who have died? It's completely unreasonable. Of course, there is politics. Remember, this horrible thing has happened a week before the city of Mumbai votes. We vote on Monday. Now, uh, BJP candidate Kirit Sumaya has said Aditya Thakre and Uddhav Thakre will get caught in this case. Sanjay Raut and Sunil Raut, his brother, will come under the scanner of the police investigation because Uddhav became chief minister in um, 
or in 2019 and the property comes under the jurisdiction of the Maharashtra government. He's of course ignoring the fact that the BJP currently runs the Maharashtra government. Now this is also part of the entire Burji that is the Maharashtra state government where it's been exchanging hands, people have been switching parties. So we really have so much trouble actually pinning responsibility on who is in charge and who should be held accountable for these deaths. Should it be all of these politicians and all of the officials in the BMC? In the 40 hours since that, uh, you know, hoarding has collapsed, killing people. The BMC has apparently brought down another illegal hoarding across near the uh, Eastern Expressway in Ghatkopar as well. Now, the important thing that I want to point out to you is from within the BMC, our elected representatives that you vote for, the councillors within the BMC, their terms expired over two years ago. No election has been held. So effectively, there is nobody who represents citizens in the BMC. It reports directly to the chief minister's office and there are just officials doing whatever they please at this point. And so it becomes even more difficult to hold anybody accountable. There's another angle that's been doing the rounds on social media. This video of Ajmera, which is a real estate company, uh, on its LinkedIn account back from April 2023, where it basically boasts about the fact that it has a hoarding on Asia's largest, uh, you know, it has an ad on Asia's largest hoarding in Ghatkopar. And it basically says that the hard work and dedication of our team, we're incredibly proud of this hoarding. Now, since then, people have been asking for accountability from Ajmera, who have allegedly taken down that video. The real estate company has now reacted and put out a statement saying that it doesn't own the space or the hoarding. It had rented it for five days in April last year. It doesn't manage the hoarding and it doesn't manage the space. But fundamentally, it brings me down to this, right? There's people in the city of Mumbai are extremely hardworking people. This is a tough city to live in. The governments in charge of the city of Mumbai are extremely corrupt people who have always exchanged the value of life for money. It is obvious in this case, as it has been in many others, that this incident is a symptom of the disease called corruption, where some person had done something illegal and was constantly paying off people in government in order to allow that illegal activity to continue. Fundamentally, what has happened, a hoarding has gone up that is much taller than it's supposed to be, much heavier than it's supposed to be by almost 10 times. It didn't have the foundation to actually hold itself to the ground. And when the wind was really strong, it tipped over and it crashed onto innocent people who were standing under it. Where is the accountability? In the city of Mumbai, bridges fall on our heads. Stampedes regularly happen. Where is the accountability for the lives that are lost? I wanna make this very clear. This is a symptom of a disease called corruption. Because someone in Ego Media Private Limited put up a hoarding that is 10 times the size that it should be. And it wasn't, it did not have the foundation to hold on to the ground. And when the winds were really strong, it tipped over onto the people standing under it. Two and a half lakh kgs of metal fell on a petrol pump and the people standing around it, killing 16 people who will not go home to their families because somebody made money off their lives. Where is the accountability? There is none. Not with our politicians, not with our elected representatives, and not with the BMC. It's high time that the people of Mumbai be aware that we pay more taxes than almost anywhere else in the country. We have very little value for our lives.